<sighs> I can't think of a game plan for today. What am I gonna do? Oh, I got it. PAY shot. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on HotRod.Tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chaos Coaching, where essentially I go into a Madden 20 online game and I break down all that I'm doing. So on offense, why I called a certain route combo, why I called a certain play. On defense, why I called a certain coverage shell, why I blitz, why I didn't blitz, etc. All those things, that's what we break down in a Chaos Coaching video. Now for this type of video, it's going to be a different style. We don't edit it as much. We don't keep in the funny quip. Well, we keep some funny quips, but... For the most part, it's just going to be me walking you through what I'm doing the entire time. It's going to be more raw gameplay, a lot more me talking. Sorry if I get annoying, but that's really what it is. It's really to help you guys get better at the game. And for, So we're going to start off here by showing you guys the team. Probably the most important thing when you when you are going to win a game is having your guys in the right spots. If you put bad receivers out there or have them in the wrong spots, it's going to affect your wins. So it's the first step to victory. So as we look at the team here, guys, we have pretty much the same team as last time. few changes. Still Andrew Luck with Dash and Deadeye and Escape Artist, best combination in Madden. We have Barry Sanders and Eric Dickerson. Now, if I'm recommending someone to you guys, I would recommend Eric Dickerson. I'm just lazy. I had Barry Sanders for our Much Jeopardy uh, series, so we, we just kept him. But Eric Dickerson is definitely better. Devin Hester, we did pick him up. This is one of our new additions. We have him at 99 speed and 90 deep route running. Super, super juiced. I haven't used him yet, so hopefully he plays as good as his stats are. We had to come him up a lot to get the 90 deep route running. I'll show you guys how to do that. But for the most part, I feel like his stats are going to be crazy. So hopefully he plays well. If he doesn't, I'll probably just go get the Brandon Cooks. You guys know I like crossing patterns. So that speed and that deep route running is really going to help me. Receivers are the same. Going over the defense, we have pretty much the same defense. We we upgraded Deion Sanders. We had full Reggie White for weekend league, but it was a friend, so we had to give it back to him. And I think Jadavion Clowney would be a new pickup for us. For the rest of the team, oh, Ed Reed. We did pick up Ed Reed. That was our other pickup. We picked up a couple of these NFL 100 guys, 97 speed. That's tough to pass up on. So that's the defense right there. Now, I wanted to show you guys quickly. This is how we got Devin Hester to 99 uh, deep route running. So we use the, the team cam. So you use the stadium and the jerseys. You also can use the head coach, but of course, I want to use John Madden. So if you look at this here, you can do this for everything, for the stadiums, for the jerseys, and for the coaches. You go to upgrade, and you can. it gets more expensive as you go, but... I did eight, you only have to do eight. If you do three different things, you can do eight. You can go up to 10, but I only have to do eight. And you guys see, it's all Ravens passing. And you guys can see on the tiers, we get plus two deep route running from that. So we get plus two there, we get plus two from go deep uh, chemistry, and then we get plus one from John Madden. So that's how we got in the 90. Again, guys, Dolphins offense, Dolphins defense, hot route dot tips, Dolphins defense coming soon, Dolphins offense already up there. That's it for the playbooks, that's it for the team. Let's get into the game. So as we go into the game, guys, I wanna give you guys a quick tip on stopping the run. So something that a lot of people do is, I'll, and I'll put all the directions here in the description, so check the description for that. And I'll also put timestamps, so if you guys wanted to get it straight into the game, I'll have timestamps there too. But very quickly, press, you guys don't have to press if you don't want to, but here's the big part. Pinching your D-line, spreading your linebackers, blitzing your linebackers, then you can do whatever you want with these outside guys, coverage them, whatever you wanna do, it doesn't really matter. So you have the coverage, and then you want to contain. Now when you contain, you see it looks like this, right? This is what you expect it to look like. But if you crash your D-line down, these guys get on contains. Really, really good for run defense. This is something I'm going to use throughout this video and several of the defenses. Some of you guys want to look at. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth look on this for Hot Route Tips soon. And it's going to show you guys the best ways to use this tactic. But if you guys just want a free, free tip, this is how you're going to want to do it. Put your middle linebackers in contains. They're going to play the run really well. And you'll see that in the video. Let's go. All right, let's see what we're looking like. All right, he's got all defensive guys in his top three. I always like to look at the abilities, guys, see what the opponent might like to do. If they have a running back, they probably like to run. If they have a receiver or quarterback or both, they probably like to pass. And if they have all three, then shoot. Then, I mean, they like to do it all. But I like to look at that. It's nice to know what they like to do going into the game. You see, I'm gonna be kicking off here. If you go into your settings, make sure your options are set to kick off first. And your second option should always be against the wind. If you happen to lose the toss, you don't want to. Uh, you want to have the win on your side while kicking your game-winning field goal or anything at the end of the game. So let's start off here, guys. Always making your subs, always making your audibles. It's always really, really important at the play call screen, having your guys in the right position. Something I already preached to you guys. You need to have your players that you have that you pay all these coins for in the right spots. Like you don't want a Lawrence Taylor in a coverage linebacker spot. You don't want a Ray Lewis in a blitzing linebacker spot. So just having them in the spot that you feel comfortable in is the best way to go about having your defense set. Now. 
we get set up here. We, uh, we're going to play a run defense. He's coming out of this I-form slot, uh, close slot. You always want to play run defense against these types of guys. I-form strong. If they're going to come out of that, make them show you they can pass and then go into your pass defense. He's staying in this run here. Yeah, he's staying in this I-form. I'm just going to continue to play, try to play run defense. That was a good run by him there. But I'm not going to worry about the pass until he shows me that he's actually going to do it. Now, if he continues to tote on me like he's done in the past, like, a uh, couple runs. I'm a little bit worried. It looks like he has open lanes. I'm not really feeling my run defense right now. I may switch it up. Guys, don't sit in the same run defense over and over and over again. If you're at HotRoute.Tips, we have multiple run defenses. If one's not working, go to the next one. Don't keep staying in the same thing hoping it's going to work. Oh. Ah. That's my fault. I didn't get set up right there. I wanted to get that one one more chance. All right, so we went to a different type of run defense here. Maybe this one will do better than before. Yeah, it did. Way better, way better. See, guys, not every run defense is going to work the same. Some run defenses work better against certain runs, certain formations. Others are going to work better. So you saw right there, I got toted on a little bit. He was giving me a little bit of work, and I switched it up, and we blew it up in the backfield. Going to the same run defense here. I'm going to make him show me he can pass. All right. Oh, bad user, bad user, bad user, bad user. Tight end attack. I got to be ready for that when I go to the single back player. That's on me. That's on me. So we have him here in a fourth and three. Fourth and three, you're probably going to get his best play uh, passing the ball. Or maybe he'll run it. But you're usually going to get your best play on a fourth down. They want to make sure they convert it, right? So, all right, he goes to the pass. I'm on that. Oh, let's go. I was on that. Guys, you're going to get probably their favorite play passing the ball on a fourth down. And that was it. I know that now. I know we might go back to that later, even though he wasn't successful with it. Guys, as I said, my audible's right here. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch, this corner right here. Make sure you guys check it out. I'm going to be streaming tonight. I'm going to stream tonight at, I believe, around 9 o'clock Eastern. That's probably when I'll be. Uh, if I'm not on by then, I'll probably be on a little bit later. You guys know. If you guys know, I, I post times when I'm going to post YouTube videos. I'm usually behind. But around 9 p.m. Eastern, I'll be live on Twitch. I'd love to see you guys in there. I'd love to see you guys say what's up. Now, on offense here, I always try to fill out my opponent. I go to just a couple plays that I like against every coverage. See what coverages they, they like to sit in. Because if they're base lining, then you really don't know what they're in. Look like a cover three right there. So just running plays that you feel comfortable beating cover two, cover three, cover four with. Oh, he's not going to quit on me. He's not going to quit on me. Don't start. Don't start. Come on, man. I hope he doesn't quit. But what I was saying was is if you're feeling your opponent out. You're going to see, okay, what coverages do they like? You have a couple plays where you're like, okay, they, it's going to beat their coverage no matter what they're in. And then once they start showing their showing their colors, they like to sit in cover three, like to sit in cover two. Then you can go to your certain just coverage beaters that you like against certain coverages. Mixing those things in, figuring it out, filling out your opponent so then the third and fourth quarter, you feel comfortable no matter what play you're calling. All right, so he didn't quit out on us. That's lucky for us. We had to keep playing. I didn't want him to quit out. We get to keep this video going. So first play, he ran cover three. It looks like cover three again. We have a wheel route right here. Like that a lot. I like, I like wheel routes. If you guys aren't using wheel routes this year, extremely, extremely effective, um, especially in the red zone. If, I, if I'm in the red zone, I have a running back wheel pretty much on every single setup that I have. It's really nice down the red zone. You can fit in tight passes. So he's played cover three uh, twice in a row now. So we're going to keep that in our back pocket. We're too close to the end zone right now to go for a beater. But just knowing on the next possession, I could probably catch him deep if he keeps staying in this cover three. So right here, once again, going back to our running back wheel. Easy eight yards. Again, guys, we're still in the red zone here. Going to be utilizing these running back wheels. It, it gets tight down here, and he's going to lurk at this time. Good job by him. Oh, he got a shed. I think I was going to have that post. That post was getting to a nice little spot in the corner of the end zone, but got ourselves in a third and ten. So I actually found myself in a bad spot here. I'm on a hash, which I don't like being on. and uh, Excuse me, I'm not on a hash, which I like to be on a hash. So it puts us in a tough spot, and we're in the red zone, so it's not easy. He missed us. Ah, I threw off my back foot. Ah, that's on me. I'm backing up. That's bad. I probably complete that for a first down if I um <laughs> if I uh, if I don't throw off my back foot. But that's okay. It is what it is. I'm actually gonna go for this now. This is a chaos coaching. If you guys were playing a game to full out win, you wanted to full out win the game, please kick here. You already got to stop. Um, he didn't show you really anything on offense that really felt like you could hurt, it could hurt you. So just go for it. I mean, excuse me, just kick it. I'm going to go for it for entertainment value, making sure the game stays close, making sure you guys can get a full gameplay so you can get the full aspect throughout the game. Because the way you start a game is different than the way you finish. I want to make sure I get both aspects for you. So we're going to go for it here. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. It is what it is. Going to make sure we get ourselves a good game here. So we're going to go to the same exact play because I had that wheel route before. And it looks like we're going to have it again if he doesn't break off. No, nope, he broke off. And really right there, I'm just reading the user. Just reading the user. So when you have a good play, when you set up a good play, it doesn't have to be our plays from Hot Route. It can be any play that you like to do. 
You like to have two routes that you feel comfortable getting open against any zone, and you're watching their user. If he breaks back on the wheel route there, I throw the post like I did. And he just broke back a little bit. He didn't even fully break back. He just broke back a little bit. Now, if he does, uh, if he uh, doesn't break back and just stays on the post the whole time, I throw the wheel. It's really just picking your poison, having good spacing, and picking whichever one that they don't go to. Now we're in the red zone here. I'm gonna go to my favorite, uh, my favorite red zone play. You guys always should have one, no matter what it is. You need to have a play that you really like, and bam, nice little pocket running back wheel routes. I can't preach that enough, guys. When you get tight near the red zone, running back wheel routes are your best friend. Again, here, guys, just gonna sky kick to the fullback, making sure you don't give up anything cheap. I've already played good defense. I showed him I can get a stop. Don't give him a free touchdown by kicking off to his best kick return, guy. No reasoning in doing that. Sky kick to the fullback. All right, he went to the single back wing pair. Last time he was in this, he went to tight end attack. We're going to be ready for that again. And here it is, tight end attack. Get him back there. Oh, uh, let me get that. Oh, my gosh. He almost caught that. What's the flag for? Holding? Ah, we'll decline it for him. We'll decline. We'll decline. All right, he went back to this I form close slot. I'm going to go to the run defense we had before for it. And bam, there we go. We blow it up in the backfield. Guys, that's an adjustment. I was running a defense that wasn't really effective versus and he was toting on me. Now I'm running a defense that's crushing it, so I'm not going to allow him to get that anymore on me. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck on the guy who blows it up. No, 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 that's just bad. That's just bad. Guys, on big plays, third downs, you need third downs and fourth downs. You need to be on the play that you want to be on. You need to be getting your play set up and get onto your user. That's on me. I did not get on my user. I was on the player that blows up the run. And of course he gets a big run. There we go. I mean, come on, can't get set up. He's got, his, he's got his pass block on aggressive. I got to accept it. I mean, I declined it for him the first time. I gave him a chance to turn it off. Freaking turn off holding. I'm going to use a tight end attack here. Lark back. Nothing really open. Send, my, send, the, send the zone. Oh, my gosh. He threw that. That's my fault. Dang it, dude. Oh, man. Perfect defense again. I give up another first down. He can keep going to this run. He's not gonna have he's not gonna have success with it anymore. He really isn't. I'm I'm running the same run defense that's blowing it up every single time. Okay, so he's still he's showing me a new formation here. Uh, he hasn't shown me what he's gonna want to do out of it yet. So really, well, we screamed at him. When someone goes to a new formation, just you're just trying to read it out. So I try not to make too many adjustments. I'm not gonna be cross manning all my linebackers and putting my guys in different zones and stuff of that nature. I'm really just gonna try to play a stock cover two, a stock cover three, see what they wanna do from it. And Jesus, man, he's gotta block somebody. You better block somebody. As a chaos coaching right there, you better block somebody. Ah, oh, he's gonna quit. Come on, man. Oh, don't quit, please. Well, he quit. We'll get into another game. We'll skip the whole beginning game antics that I did with the subbing and the audibling and all that nature. We'll skip all that stuff. We'll get right into the game, get you guys a second game, get a nice long video for you. How's this team looking? How's this team looking? That's us. That's us. Come on. Have a decent team. I want, a, I want, a, I want a good game. Have a decent team. Come on. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I like that, Rand I like that Randall Cunningham. I want to play against him. Let's go. So we're starting with the ball first. Right away, I'm noting he's got that LT juiced up. He's got him powered up. So we're noting that early, and we're just gonna feel him out just like we did before, feeling out what he likes to do. Man, that LT is coming. Make that pass, yeah, dead eye, dash and dead eye. You need it. If you don't have it, you need it. So we play cover two the first play. I'm gonna put out another play that I like against all the coverages. See if he sits in that cover two once again. Breaks off on the wheel, wide open pass, dive. Nice, nice play. So again, he sat in that cover two. That's twice in a row now he's played cover two. I'm keeping that in mind. If he's gonna sit in cover two, he's gonna struggle. My crossing routes are gonna get open all day against this thing. He's gonna have to switch to a cover three or a cover four if he wants some success. Going to a PA wide shot, man. If he sits in this cover two one more time, it's a touchdown. All right, he broke off. Good job by him. Smart, smart job by him. He switched it up. He went to, I think, a cover four or a cover three. Yeah, cover three. So good job by him. Good, good mix up. That's noted. We'll keep mixing it up. Okay, he's clearly in a cover three here. He just audibled, uh, or excuse me, he just uh, base aligned, but I could clearly see that he was in a cover three. This flat route should be open. It should beat any flat zone that's getting out there. Should be an easy read. Ooh, he, he actually audible. He didn't He didn't base line. Ooh, ooh, Dickerson. Ah, he actually, instead of, I thought he base aligned when he was in the cover three. It looks like he was still in the cover three still, but he definitely, that definitely was not um, a cover three shell. He had a cloud out there on the left side. So he readjusted it. It's showing me that he actually knows what he's doing. He actually can adjust his cover shells. You guys will see me do that all the time. I'll come out and cover two, but I'll set up a cover three or cover four. That's exactly what he did. And that's going to be a good, that's going to be something, that's going to be a good game because he's actually adjusting. He's making the adjustments he needs to, on his players. So I like that. We're in for a good one. In for seven. Let's play some defense. All right, so he came out of single back wing tight, which is what the guy was in before that we just played. So we got to look out for tight end attack. All right, he's not in that. 
Everything should be boxed right here. Send the guy. Great. Oh my goodness, Randall. Hey, that Randall's crazy. He just broke a hit stick. So we actually passed on the first play. So that's something I'm going to note. I'm going to set up run defense again, but I'm actually going to play a little bit what I think is a little bit better pass defense against it. And again, he passes the ball. Man, that Randall's flying. He's flying. I got to spy him. I have to spy him. So he's showing me something new here. Definitely. Oh my gosh, my adjustment didn't go through. Scream. Let's go, boy. I want to spy him. I want to spy this Randall Cunningham every play. He's really, really fast. I didn't. I haven't played him before. I did not realize he was that fast. All right, so we're set up here. We have our spy. If he's going to pass the ball, he's been passing the ball. He hasn't been running out of this thing. So we're, we're going to expect him to pass. And when he does, he's going to have a spy. So he's actually going to have to make a read. Perfect defense. No. De Dion, are you serious? We, I need Dion to, to lurk on that corner route right there. That's an outside deep blue. That's not a cloud flag. Come on, man. So this is the second gun formation he showed us. Again, we're going to spy him, making sure we take away his running ability and make sure he keeps making reads. When you think people don't actually want to pass the ball and they just want to run with their quarterback, make them make a read. Put a spy out there and we're screaming at him, baby. We're screaming at him. You want that blitz? You want that blitz? Hot route dot tips, baby. Again, another formation he hasn't shown. He's been going to a lot of different stuff. He's mixing it up well. We have our spy, though. We're ready. For, we're just expecting he's going to pass the ball. Pick that. Pick that. Pick that, Dion. Come on, boy. Get out. Get out. Move. Move. Oh, stick. Stick to the crib. Oh, I tried to swerve him. Ah, let's go, man. Oh, we're not going to get another quit, man. Are we really about to get a three-piece? Are we really about to get a three-piece for a video? Oh, we're really about to get a three-piece. You've got to be kidding me. Man, but right there, guys, before we get into the next game, I'm going to do another one. Same thing as before, skipping the, the pregame antics, but uh, we, we're expecting to pass. That guy was passing the ball out of all running formations. If someone's passing the ball every time, you don't have to keep playing run defense. Get into your pass D, make him make a bad read just like that. That's what we did. Let's get into the next game. All right, let's see what we got for our last game. Come on, baby. Nothing crazy, but a good team. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. He's got, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You guys are in for a treat. He's got Eric Diggers and Ann Barry Sanders. When I told you guys, you could tell by the abilities of what they like to do. This man clearly likes to run the ball. All right, he's coming back in single back wing flex close. The thing about this formation is it actually has good passing plays and good run plays. You have to kind of be on alert for both, kind of playing that chess match of what you think they're going to do. Because the run defenses aren't going to be great pass defense against what they like to do. And vice versa, the pass defenses aren't going to stop the runs well. So you kind of have to do that guessing game. And that's what this game is really going to be. Now we're playing this I form close slot. We actually just played this, and if you guys remember, our run defense was blowing it up. That's a good job by us. We actually just blew up Eric Dickerson for minus nine yards in a row. And that was lucky, because we actually just played that, and we were actually playing bad run defense against it before. But this time, we were ready for it. We found the adjustment, and it worked well. Right here, guys, just trying to play contain. Yeah, yeah. Both guys with their X-Factors gone. First possession. We blew up Barry in the backfield. We blew up Eric Dickerson in the backfield. Come on, man. Y'all about to title this video something about run defense. It's going to be something about run defense for sure. We are blowing everything up. I don't have to worry about the run too much right here, guys. I'm really just going to play very, very, very conservative defense. He has 20 yards again. He's in a single back formation. So I don't have to worry too much about anything right here. He doesn't even... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Oh, my gosh. We just gave up a bomb. Wow. Okay, that's that was new to me. You learn something new every day. Wow, nice play. Dang, man. The, yeah, we blew his run up three times in a row for minus 11 yards. Oh, let me give that up. That's brutal. That's brutal. I guess I shouldn't have been in cover four. I felt like cover four was almost unbombable this year. I knew there was some, but I did not know there was one at single back A. So kudos to him. Great play. He didn't show me really anything on offense that I have to be too worried about. As long as I don't give up any... Uh, cover four bombs out of single back ace anymore we should be fine so not too worried about it i'm happy with where we're at we have to go get seven now but we'll be good so i can see he's clearly in the cover three guys we're actually going to try to bomb him here Let's see what we can do with it though because i didn't get to set up my my chop block oh we got him we got him devin hester's really fast he's really fast he's really fast devin hester's a beast let's go all right right back let's lock this dude up all right, guys, we're ready here. I'm ready for him to do a bomb. I'm not really tripping on anything he wants to do. If he if he goes to the run, we feel good about our run defense. But if he goes to that bomb, I'm just literally going to use her at myself. He doesn't really have any other routes in the field that can really bother me. So that's what we're going to do. And another different running formation. Once again, he's been mixing up his running formations really, really well. Uh, just kind of switching out what he wants to do. But guess what? We are blowing up all of them. Four rushes, negative 11 yards. Holy crap, we are blowing up the run. Got to be ready for the pass here. Like I said, this thing can pass a little bit. 
That's okay. We'll give that up. Make the tackle. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I did say this thing can pass a little bit as a single back wing flex close. I'm actually going to audible here into a cover three, allowing myself to make sure I don't give up any like deep passes. I don't want to give up any man beaters. Oh, we get stuck. That sucks. Nothing's open. Freak, no. Give me that pick, boy. Nothing's open. Oh. Oh, get out. Be him. Outrun him. Oh, yeah. One more. One more! Ah! Let's freaking go! Man, I don't get sticky often. I don't get sticky often. I gotta get excited. Let's go. Oh, my. We're getting another quit. Am I really gonna get you as a four-piece? Are we really gonna get a... Oh, my gosh. We got a four-piece. I gotta keep recording. It's not long enough. I want you guys to have all the chaos coaching action you want. One more game. All right, last game here, guys. He's got he's got Tory Holt on his team. That's noted. I don't see any running backs, so maybe this guy actually is a passer, and that's our team. Let's jump into the game, see what this guy likes to do. Oh man, he's sitting in the cover three. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to. Me. Don't make me bomb you first play. All right, we're gonna try to get off this double team here. Ah, uh, we're not gonna have time, I don't think. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna double team the outside guy instead. All right, here we go. We're going deep. Oh, we got bumped. Oh, that's a bad read, probably. Ah, that's my bad. My guy got bumped. I hate that. Oh, bad decision. Bad decision. He went to the 146. You can't go to the 146 for a split close, guys. You audible down to run, and you should have a huge gain. We'll see what we get here. Oh, my gosh. Nice blocking, boys. We only had a million yards to go. Oh, my gosh. Wide open run. That's brutal. We lost our X Factor on that. And that was actually a wide open run. We should have had a big game right there. I actually like the fact he's going to sit in this 146. We will tote on this. I'm going to pass here because we can pass against it. But he can sit in this all day. That's a dot. He can sit in this all day if he wants to because I'm not going to have any problems running the ball on him. He still wants to sit in it. We're going we're gonna to gonna blow one. We're going to blow one right here. We're 100% going to get a, hundred, like a really big run. Dude, yo, who is that? Is that Darnell Dockett? Yeah, Darnell Dockett is blowing up my whole run right now by himself. If we can just block Darnell Dockett, we have a huge gain in us. We're going to try it again. If we just can block Darnell Dockett for like a second, we'll be out. Oh my goodness. I'm getting freaking mad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not getting mad. But I really, I, we usually I have a ton of success running on this. And I just don't have to pass against it. 146, I can pass against it. It's not a problem. But I'd much, much rather just get easy runs. So, I mean, who wouldn't want just easy touchdown runs against it every time? But it is what it is. That's okay. We'll go right back to PAY shot, see if he's got defense for it. And we'll go from there. All right, come on. Oh, he didn't spy me. You got to spy me. You got to spy me. Should be a first. Good job, boy. Let's go. He hasn't shown me any pass defenses that's really been worrying me yet. So I have no problems just audibling down to the run and trying to get some success. There we go. Thank you. We held Docker for just long. Juke him. Hey, a little jukebox action. Dude, all we had to do was hold Darnell Docker for like this long. Just for long enough for Barry to get in some open space. That's all I needed. Docker was blowing up every run himself. I could see the running lanes. I don't know if you guys could see him too, but I felt like I knew it was there. So I'll go back to it. This is Madden 20. It is not Madden 17 or 18 when you just could not run the ball. You know what I'm saying? I guess you could run the ball a little bit in those games, but... For the most part, like this game, like if they blow it up once, they blow it up twice, they might not blow it up a third time. You got to keep giving it chances. And I, I felt comfortable with that run. I saw the open running lanes and it equal a touchdown. He's coming out of this tight offset. Little does he know my best friend in the Madden community runs this formation. He's not going to have much success against me on this. All right. I, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see what he's got for me out of this that I haven't seen before. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We're coming after the QB, baby. All right, what you got for me? What you got for me? I'm just reading him right now. I'm seeing what he likes to do. I saw on the first play, he went to that corner route. He's got a route specialist at Torrey Holt. So, we, oh, my goodness. You got to block a running back. You got to block a running back. He's got a route ability. So, he has the ability to put corner routes on both sides of the field. So, I don't have to just... I don't just have to worry about the one. I have to worry about both sides. So that's nice to know. We have that marked down in our minds. We're ready to go back to that. We're going to be keep watching what he's doing. This is our first possession. Like I always told you guys, you're feeling them out, seeing what they like to do. Going to a different formation here. Again, just trying to figure out what he wants to do out of it. Oh my goodness, no. No way. No, that's a perfect animation for him. He's back in the side offset. I'm ready for the corner route. The corner route should not get open. I'm actually going to man up Tillman to this outside guy just in case he streaks Holt here. But if he puts him in the corner route, the other outside uh, cloud flash should take him away. So we got both sides locked up right here. I feel comfortable with our defense. Nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I'm shocked that that got open right there with the cloud flat and Shazier on him. I can't believe that. Good play by him. Good play. Good play. Good play. Unfortunate right there for us. 
All right, let's see if he keeps going back to that. I don't think he's going to have great success doing that, but if he if he does, he does, we'll change it up. Again, guys, just like with the run defense, if what you're doing... Yeah, no, that's not going to work. That ain't going to work. If what someone's doing against you out of the pass is crushing you, don't just keep running the same coverage and being like, how do I stop this? I'm staying in cover two and they can't... No, like, switch it up. There's no reason to sit in the same defense. Go to a cover three, go to a cover four, uh, go to a, a hybrid, maybe uh, like a cover six. Mix it up, guys. Don't just keep sitting in a defense that's not working for you. All right, guys. I actually made a switch up right here. I'm in the cover three. He's That corner out on the left is not going to be uh, open at all. I just have to worry about the right side of the field myself and then the middle of the field. We should be good, though. I don't need to spy luck. I don't think luck. He hasn't really killing me with him, running with him yet. So I'll make him run with him first before I actually put a spy. I'll just leave my two zones out there in the, in the middle. And it looks like nothing's going to be open. Go ahead and throw it. Go ahead and throw it. Dude, as soon as I say Luck's not killing me, he runs away. Good job by him. Good job by him. I had to, you got to show me. You got to show me first before I actually make the adjustment. So that's okay. Playing the same defense right here, guys. Same exact defense. I feel good about it. I feel really good about it, matter of fact. I think this is going to be a good job. We have our spy. We're not going to let him run. He's going to have to make a read. The right side of the field's really mine. I have no flat zone over there. Yep, we're on that. We're on that. We're on that, man. Perfect defense. I knew exactly what I had to use her. Guys, you need to know your assignments. I had a cover three shell with no flat zone on the right. I knew that's going to be my responsibility. I have the, the left hook zone and the left curl flat with the deep third on the opposite side. I had to lurk my side myself. I know that. That's the biggest part of usering is knowing your responsibility. You can't just be lurking in the middle of the field where you already have zones at. The point of having a zone there is so that you can lurk somewhere else. Be successful by lurking what you need to lurk. Now, he's in this 146 still. I don't know why. He clearly saw the tote last time. So we'll keep trying to be successful with this. Oh, if I could have just delivered through there. I'm going to keep going back to the run. I can pass. You guys have seen me pass against it. But he's going to just have to show me that he's got consistent run defense. And he hasn't shown me that yet because I did break a big touchdown run. We're going to pass here. Continue to make him show us pass defense. He spied us. That's good. Oh, wide open. Wide open. Too fast, Hester. Too fast. Too fast. That boy, Devin, boy. Come on, man. Yo, guys, I can't express, I can't stress to you guys enough. I do not get sticky, and I've gotten sticky two to three times today. That's a good sign for me. All right, so he went to a run, uh, excuse me, a run offense. Uh, he passed the ball his whole first possession at a tight offset. Now he's gonna try to run the ball because he didn't have success passing. Well, man, oh man, oh man. I told y'all I'm tighter than this video about run D. Two rushes, negative eight yards. Man, guys, if you got, yo, if you guys don't have run defense. How about that tips, dude? I mean, gosh dang. Holy crap. People are just really struggling to pass the ball right now. All right. Excuse me. To run the ball. What am I talking about? All right. Let's see what he does. He, he might have some passes out of the single back wing stack. It's, it's similar to the wing flex close. Yeah. You can actually pass out of these formations. I got to lurk this tight end myself. Nothing's really open. He's got luck to run, though. Yes. Let's go. Probably should have spied him right there. You do have some passes out of this. It's the same thing as wing flex close in that the passes are actually going to kill the run defense and the run defense and the run offense is going to kill your pass defense. So it's just like kind of the chess match of what you think they're going to do on a given play. So he's in this gun bunch. Not too, too worried about it. I'm going to make him show me his dots. I don't think I don't think he's in West Coast from what he's called. I don't think he's in West Coast. So I don't have to worry about mesh post or anything of that nature. Maybe just deep corner. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know what route that was. But bad pass by his QB or just terrible route. One or the other. We got a pick, man. I'll take it. Man, guys, I really do apologize to you guys. I have not been able to get a good game. I've been... I've been playing all these games where I just feel like I'm dominating them, but I didn't think like the guy, like I don't think this guy's that bad at all. And I don't think the guy before us was that bad that was running the single back wing flex close. I just really think that I'm actually playing well today. And usually in these videos, I don't play that well considering the fact I'm trying to talk to you guys the whole time I'm playing. It's not easy to actually sit there and focus and lock in the whole time, but I've been able to, I've been able to do it today. So shoot, we'll take it. Just going to continue to go to my red zone plays. We've talked about this before. Running back wheels, extremely effective. Short routes that aren't going to get affected by deep blues. Again, he can't. if you're not going to guard this wheel, I'm going to throw it all day. Get that perfect diving animation from Eric Dickerson and just keep moving the ball. Now, for chaos coaching purposes, I want this to be the last drive of the half. I don't want to give him a chance to make it 21-7 before halftime. I'm pretty sure it's his ball at half, so you don't want to let him double dip. By double dip, I mean if he gets the ball last with a couple minutes to go, a minute and a half, he goes down and gets seven, then it's either 17-7, 21-7, right, considering I score here. And then he gets the ball at halftime, then it's 21-14, 17-14 if he goes and gets seven again. So it puts you in a bad spot, whereas I can go in up 17 or 21-0. I don't care. Three or seven here is fine. Either one is perfectly fine. If I just get three or seven, don't give him the ball back. We're good to go. And this Darnell Dockett just is an automatic shed. He must have that like that run shed ability, which is a good ability. I would have it as well. Um, but I'm going to make this the last play of the half before my field goal. I either get a touchdown here or I kick my field goal. I'm going to call timeout with about 
uh, 14 seconds, 14 seconds. That leaves him not enough time to do anything on offense, but if I need to kick my three, I still have my one more play. So the thought process here, don't throw a pick. That's all I can't do. Just can't throw a pick. Laser! Oh my gosh! My running back, I, I saw it right away. I saw the guy follow the corner out, and I knew, I knew my running back was open. Dang. Oh, but the thought process there, guys, is don't throw a pick. You don't want to do anything stupid, especially a pick six would have been monumentally bad there. If you got to take a sack there, there's nothing wrong with that. You'll take your three. I'll go up 17-0. There's nothing wrong with 17-0, guys. I'm feeling good. But to put him in a 14-7 spot, it gives him confidence. Um, and he gets the ball at half. It gives him a chance to win. So you don't want to do that. Just be safe there. Take what's open. If not, go to the next down. So he's back in his tight offset. My thought process here, guys, don't give up anything big. Make him work the whole way, the whole way of the field. Uh, we're not going to give up a long touchdown. Make him take clock. He's down three possessions. He needs to... Oh, my goodness. You got to block the running back, brother. You run one four six. You know how it is. He's running it against me. He knows this thing's going to scream at him. He's got to block his running back here. Come on. Or motion over and block it. Yeah, there you go. Like, he knows that. Come on. But again, guys, I don't want to give up anything deep. He needs three possessions. If he needs three possessions, he's got to score quick. So as long as I make him work, don't let him get out of bounds, uh, everything, just keep that clock running. We'll be good. All right, what's he doing here? What's he doing here? Corner out. Nothing doing. Nothing doing, man. Nothing doing. We are all over people today. Come on. Going to switch it up here. I'm going to actually go into a cover three instead of a cover two. Mix up my shell. Nothing wrong with changing it up a little bit. Don't give him a rhythm. Keep him guessing the whole time. Again, guys, my flat is on the right. You guys see it. I need to make sure I'm lurking that myself. And make, make him make a read somewhere else. He's not going to be throwing at me. We're on the corner out. We're on the slant. Nothing's open. Nothing's open. Someone go get the QB. Someone go get the QB. Working the way back to the middle. No, 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 no. Pitch it. Oh, my gosh. That was really stupid. That was really stupid. Dang it, man. I was trying to... Yo, yo. Someone tell me how throwing does it successfully every time. He just threw his 20 yards back midfield. I'm not pitching anymore. I can't do it. It's not built for me. If you guys want to see pitches after interceptions, go back to Thrones channel, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. But all right, guys, that's it for the games. I'm sorry we didn't get a close game. In all honesty, I felt like we actually played decent opponents, especially those last two games. I felt like they actually knew what they were doing for the most part. Um, so especially the one guy, too, was adjusting. He changed his cover three to a cover two shell. I, I don't know, man. I guess I was just playing well today. I appreciate you guys rocking. Um, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys pop into the Twitch. I, got, I don't know what this guy's saying, but pop into the Twitch tonight. I want to see you guys in there. Say what's up. Say you're from the YouTube. I'll show you guys some love. I appreciate you guys as always. Take it easy. Peace.